The first item is a pair of shoes from New Balance Tokyo Studio. They're mesh, they have a front zipper. What's really cool about this shoe is they're interchangeable between a low top and a high top. There's a zipper on the back, you can undo it, pull out the low top and put in the high top version. You zip it back up, same front zip with laces underneath, a little bungee cord. I prefer the low top, they're just really easy to wear. They made these in a green colorway and a gray colorway. New Balance Tokyo Studio. The next item is a pair of shorts from Rick Owens Dark Shadow. In this kind of stonewash light blue denim colorway. They feature two front cargo pockets, a contrast waistband, back flat pockets. I don't know if jorts are gonna become a trend. However, I'm a big fan of the wash on these. They're a little bit different, but I have so many black shorts from Rick. I wanted to switch it up. Rick Owens Dark Shadow Denim Cargo Shorts. We have a hoodie from Kiko Kostadinov. This is the Midnight Stripe hoodie. There's two versions of this. This is the newer release version. It's an oversized thick terry hoodie that has no shoulder seam. So the top of it has a panel that wraps around the back. There's an extra piece of fabric sewn in through the logo, big back print, and it has an insanely oversized hood, which I'm a fan of. This next item is not summer appropriate, but it is a cool item. This is a Stone Island 2007 opaque down puffer. It's in this cream color, and then all the seams and zippers contrast with this gray color, giving it a really unique texture and kind of worn look. The front's all quilted, there's stitching around the pocket, and then on the back, there's raglan seams and then seams down below both of the arms. It came with this little waxed helmet thing that you can put inside the hood. I was considering buying the Elix Montclair puffer. I found this one for cheaper. This is a double XL, so it fits more like an oversized L. Really beautiful texture and color. Next up, we have a sneaker boot hybrid from Asics and Non Native. It has a thick, chunky rubber sole and then a Gore-Tex top. The top is a formless piece of fabric, and then there's an intricate lacing system around the entire boot. These give off a really unique look on foot. From the top, they're really chunky. They're surprisingly easy to get on. I think they look the best with car hearts or maybe sweatpants. As someone who struggles to find boots that I like to wear, this offers a really nice in-between, between kind of like a hiker and a boot. And they also made these in a tan colorway. This is the black version. Right now, we're gonna cut to Fernando and Trevor's pickups. Like I said, Fernando bought an insane amount of Rap Simmons. Rap Simmons haul, so let's cut to that. This is your closet, look. Like. Right, yeah, I just did an inventory check, and uh, I got about 95 shirts. The reason why I have plastic hangers is these clothes ain't nothing to me. It's a big day, it's pickups day. Trevor's been getting ready for it, he prepared a presentation. I heard something happened on Instagram. Yeah, so the, the reason why my Instagram account got banned, because, you know, quite frankly, as a matter of fact, it just, um... If anyone works on Instagram, please help the starving child out. I'm just very addicted. Instagram. I'm having withdrawals. What should I start with? So you said start with heat to less heat? Yeah. Okay, th I'll put this last. Fugazi loafers coming soon. If I ever get my Instagram back. Got a nice coin. Got some general research stuff. Parasite flannel. It has like the pockets on it. Got it at the middleman pop up. I don't know how much you got, but general research, pants from 2001. Got some uh, pockets right here. Some more pants I got. They're South to West A natural color fabric with like green contrast stitching. Got a couple pairs of Vans, or something, and then Bodega Vans. The real pickup is this van. <laughs> it's a size 66. It's constructed just like a real shoe. I just, I needed like something that would fit me. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of cool. The worst pickup. Overdyed utility jacket. Good pickups. Thank you. Fernando Rangel. I understand that you have a lot of pickups. Is that true? The more I look at it when I was bringing it over here, it feels really dumb. I got the Rick Dunks to the Blistered Lamb. They got resole at the bottom, and the dude fucking painted the midsole, so they look kinda lame. I was thinking about removing it. I'm assuming it's piss yellow under there. So you can tongue fuck them, or if you wanna keep it a little subtle. Rick Owens Slab 2001 jacket. It's like a waxed brown denim. Try it on. Rick Large, Playboy Cardi vibes. I mean, it looks great on camera. Okay, next I got a chrome jacket, like a nylon trucker with leather patches on it. I don't know, I thought it was like funny because it's chrome, but it's also like a decent jacket. It has a chrome dagger on it. 
couple past months, I was getting a little excited. Wrath, be pure, be vigilant, behave. Very rare. Limited edition. It has kind of a bad neck. I call it a bacon neck. Next up, classic Raph Simone's piece. Spring, summer, 03, consume. Penelope hoodie, heathered gray color. So Raph Simmons, radioactivity. Triple layered long sleeve. It has a mesh tank over it. It's pretty dope. It's like navy and black. No, it's black on black. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I can't tell. Next, we got a double up on two radioactivity crew necks. These are classics. One of my favorite Raph graphics. This is the Raph Spring Summer 03 Consumed New Kids Oversized Hoodie with the black graphic on it. These go for a lot now. It's a towel. Fits pretty good though. Raph God Drip. This is Autumn Winter 03 Closer. The New Order Touched by Hand of God Hoodie. This one's a size 50. Raph Virginia Creeper Hoodie. Really nice sun fade to go along with that one. Mint VC Hoodie. These are super hard to find. Two Raph Tanks. Older Raph got the navy tag. This one's pretty much just like a cut and sew. Brownish, charcoal, and black. This one's a mesh overlay. Summer Essential Raph Tank. And my last Raph Auto Winter 04 Waves. Blue gray paisley hoodie. You don't see it every day. Invest in Raph. Welcome back, everybody. First item on the chopping block is a pair of shorts from Rick Owens Montclair. Now, originally, I wanted this pair with the sun quilting on them. I couldn't find them for the right price, but I did find this pair, and they're a down padded pair of nylon shorts. They're soft to the touch. They got a little Montclair Rick Owens logo on them. These are definitely not the most practical pair of shorts, more for indoor wear. Nonetheless, they are comfortable. They're basically like wearing a pillow. Next up, we got an item you may have seen in a previous video. It is a Helmet Lang Autumn Winter 98 Goose Down Anorak. Most of them are made of this vintage cotton, which is a soft touch structured material that the light just hits beautifully. This one is a pretty traditional design. It's got a chest pocket. The hood has a flap around the front. There's a side zipper with the hidden inside pocket. Overall, it's well made. It's kind of a piece of history. If I'm going to be totally honest, I don't wear this a ton just because it's kind of hard to get on and off but it's something that I wanted for a while. I'm happy to finally have. This right here is a pair of double knees. Now these are not traditional double knees. These are a pair of tailored double knees. I would highly recommend anyone doing this. Basically what I did is I found a pair that I really loved the wash and fade on. I took two inches in on the thigh, one inch in on the calf, and then I had the hem release, which added about two inches to the length. So now they fit more like a traditional pant, but there's still that beautiful Carhartt fade. And these have easily become one of my most worn pair of pants. Next up, we got a shoe from a Reebok. These are a pair of Reebok Trail Shadow Approaches. This is a shoe I saw online. I was waiting for it to come out and I got these a couple months ago when they dropped in Korea. The design is pretty similar to an Oswego. It's got a mud flap. I'm gonna be honest, I have never worn these. I'm just not a big fan of the shape of them. They have a pretty slim silhouette and they're just not really my style. For the price point of 160, they're not bad. There's some cool colorways. There's a green version. There's an all black version. I probably will sell them, but I wanted to show you guys them. I think they're worth checking out. Right now I'm gonna run through some different items. First pair up is the Unsound jeans. So this is a pair of jeans that Fernando recently released. They are a reconstructed pair of Levi's in a gray colorway. They have a seam going down the front right leg, a seam going down the back right leg. They have some repairing, they have custom hardware, bison leather patch. Definitely my favorite pair of denim. Big shout out to Unsound Rags. Next up we got a hoodie from Carhartt. This is a Carhartt quarter zip. It has a little collar on top with a hood. It's in this faded black blue color way. Little Carhartt logo on the pocket and uh, it's a large, fits pretty oversized. I'm a sucker for quarter zips. This is a vintage Supreme Basquiat hoodie. This is a hoodie I had back in like 2014. For some reason I sold it. All black. Basquiat picture on the front. Little Supreme logo on the hood. Kind of a piece of nostalgia for me. Thank you to Unsound Rags for providing it. The next item is from Margella. I believe these came out in 2014. What's unique about these is the top pocket. So it's a hybrid between a flat pocket and then a traditional pocket. Next up, we have a vintage gray hoodie. This is on a Lee Blank, little tear in the neck. I really like the print on this. I think it looks timeless. This is also provided from Unsound Rags. This is a good little summer hoodie or jogging hoodie, calming gray color. We got two jackets here. The first one is from Ann Wander. This is their top fleece. It's got a fleece material on the body and then the shoulder and the front has this nylon material. Two little side pockets, little Ann Wander logo. It's got a high neck and they made this in a tan colorway, a blue colorway, and this gray colorway that I really like but could not find. Next up is a jacket from Palace. This was actually given to me from Fernando and Trevor uh, for my birthday. It's a stab proof jacket. It's really heavyweight nylon. It's got some cool flat some pockets on the front, a robust 
jacket. Finally, we'll end it with two little beanies. First one, vintage Stussy beanie. Would highly recommend anyone getting one of these. Essential beanie, low key little logo. And the next one is this snow peak padded beanie that I showed you guys a couple months ago. It's nylon, it's padded, got a little snow peak leather patch on it. I do have a few other things I could show you guys, but I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to end it here. I got a Rose Bowl video coming down the pipeline, but please let me know what you think of the pickups. Did you like them? Did you not like them? If you have any suggestions for me, please let me know. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I love you all. I will see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody, and take care.